Uh, sometimes you might end up with one surface that has two different areas and you may want to have two different surfaces. Uh, so right now this is one surface called two and I wanna make it into two surfaces. Uh, so the way I would do that would be to create a brand new surface and I'm just gonna call that one. And then on the one surface, you can come in here and you can paste the surfaces together. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select two and now one is a copy of two. And in order to break the link, I need to create a snapshot. And the snapshot will save whatever's been built for the surface so far and make it one surface. So then I can come in and add a boundary, either by creating one or by using the existing line work. And so I can say, um, hide the stuff. And so then I can select the polyline. And then I can do the same thing for the other one. So over here, I have one surface now. And then here, this one has both. So I need to add a boundary to that object over here. So I'll go to the to surface and so now I have the one surface so I'm going to go ahead and change the style so I have a surface over here and a surface over here and so now I have two surfaces and as long as you keep the snapshot um, which is indicated by this icon here. Uh, it'll maintain the surface. Uh, if I remove the snapshot, and rebuild the surface. So now I have that one surface and the surface over here. So I can move that surface up here and I can move this one over here. Now I have two surfaces that are independent, hopefully. So if I rebuild the surface, um, it's going to go away because I removed the snapshot. So once you use the snapshot, another way to do this is to use the data shortcut functionality. And I can go ahead and set my working folder and then use the Data short, create data shortcuts to create the two surface in here. And then I can open up an existing drawing or a new one. And then I can create a reference to that two surface. And then I can promote it. I'm going to go ahead and rename the surface to one. And now I have a surface in here. And then it's going to create that same snapshot, but it's going to sever the link to the other surface, the two surface. And here I can go ahead and change the surface style to include triangles. And then I could delete all the lines over there, um, or I could add a boundary. And so I can create data shortcuts for one. And then in here for the two surface, I could either add a boundary for the hide to hide everything else for as an outer boundary. And so now the surface is over here. And then I can create a reference to surface one. I'm going to go ahead and do elevation banding. 
and I accidentally created the same surface. Um, but I can easily solve that by coming over the two surface, deleting the outer boundary, rebuilding the surface. Deleting the edits. And then I can add that outer boundary and, and then I can add the outer boundary. So now I have the two surface over here and I have the one surface over here and they're two separate surfaces. So that's two ways of doing it. And then if you need that one surface back in here, you can always right click and promote it. And then you could delete this drawing or do whatever you want with it. And that's two ways of creating two separate surfaces.